hi uh so first of all as i was just saying uh it's a tremendous show uh sensitively done because that's important but also thrilling it keeps you hooked so it you know checks all the boxes uh my first question to you is uh as an outsider looking in not in terms of the police but in terms of just the incident itself what was your uh initial gut reaction to the incident when you found out and where were you uh, well my gut reaction wasn't any different from any other sensitive human being on this planet because this was not just uh, this didn't just affect people in delhi or india it affected people world over so it wasn't i mean there's there's nothing more that i can say about that uh, i was in bombay and like i said as affected as any woman or even any man would be who has a sensitive bone in their body um i was in delhi at the time uh, for me it, um it was it, it was diff- interesting because it was strange because the information was being disseminated through like word of mouth right there was media but also we were hearing rumors that didn't quite make sense right you first hear there's been this attack on the bus and this has happened you can't quite understand and the next day uh next 17th morning a family friend w- was talking we were talking and she said oh yeah it happened in broad daylight i'm like what are you talking that doesn't make any sense so all these things kept swirling and you just couldn't quite understand the picture of it because it didn't it, it was frying your circuits in a way i'm like how what how can someone do this to another human being so i remember it began as confusion first of there must be a a rumor that doesn't make sense and then when it started to come and really verify facts um you know it was it was incomprehensible i think i probably just shut down and and then as a upon contemplation again outside of the of what she said any human being on earth i think would feel ho- absolute horror then it, the next stage is well how do you find your how do, what's your relation to, to it i'm talking about like months later weeks later months later as a man i can't necessarily relate to that attack upon me but certainly upon a loved one somebody i i care about sister mother partner um and then the next step is well wh- how would i react wh- what if it was a stranger happening and uh, it, and i walked down by them on the street and there was an attack you intervene of course i would intervene but is that the end of my life now so it becomes this medusa complex of hope we just don't see it and so it's very a very complicated thing i think for all of us i don't think you can relate i'm sure we all can relate yeah so and and you can't pin pin it down outside of the horror there's a, a lot of confusion a lot of con- con- conflict within all of us as you mentioned the conflict right so i'm from delhi and i've been here all my life and i have a very weird relationship with this city because i'm often forced to defend it to people and only a delhiite knows what the city is like you know we we know that it's good there's there's a lot to love about this city what is your idea of delhi both of you what do you perceive delhi as because it's a character in the show as well you know a very important character well i'll tell you what my idea now is after going through this experience of making this um and i've made films here for years i've been coming for the last you know 17 years 6 5 6 months a year so i had i had a pretty good idea of what i felt delhi was until i started speaking to some to these officers especially beat cops and they they would start telling me horrific cases that they're working on and in passing they would say oh like you know last week we found this woman you know dead in Nehru place and this and that and I said what are you talking about and they would explain it to me but it was in passing uh, to make another point and I would I would say to them do you still believe in people you see the worst in all of us do you still believe in people they said oh yeah absolutely and they would give me the statistics of at the time 17 million people in delhi now much more um 80,000 police officers, 45% used on traffic and VIP duty. Which so those remaining officers are left to keep the peace. They can't prevent they can't do preventive policing. They can't stop a crime from being committed statistically, which means in in every police officer's point of view, peace is being maintained by Delhiites. They're doing it themselves. And they're there to apprehend and protect and maintain civility in a certain way. But everyone said no no no, 99.99% of people are very good. we just deal with one or 2000 bad apples and you look at it that way you and you think oh my god i mean forget about reputation of the city outside but the fact is everyone is good and there there is a darkness like every urban environment has um and there's convergence of certain events in the city but at the same time it's being completely maintained by the people who go outside 
and they do help each other and they do give each other a nod and they do hold the doors open for each other. It does happen. And that's civility in the city. So my view of, oh my God, it's, it's a dark city. There's a lot of darkness in it. Once in a while you see something really beautiful. It's actually to totally ulta. It's the other way around. We, you just don't see it sometimes. Well, I, uh, I've been born and brought up in Bombay. So, um, I mean, I haven't lived here to have a first-hand experience. Obviously, this uh, crime didn't help the way people looked at the place. But I genuinely feel this show is not about making a statement or the incident that happened isn't regional. I mean, it's a global problem, right? It happens everywhere in the world. The interiors and the biggest metropolitan cities in the world. Um, but like he said very correctly, when you see, a, particularly this one, it was an eye-opener. I, di I didn't realize there were a lot of people working towards nabbing these guys. And relentlessly and they were dedicated and they just just wanted to do that. So, yes, everything is not bad. And, yeah. I guess, but the show does capture the spirit of the city as well. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the it's a behind the scenes sh uh, look at the investigation, which we necessarily do not get an accurate representation of in the media as well. How involved was the Delhi police in the show? in terms of what were the conversations you guys had and uh, did you feel obligated to tell the truth about them because it wasn't really told? Look, I mean, the way I landed upon the story was through a family friend who was a former commissioner of the Delhi police and retired. Um, and uh, when I met him six years ago, he had seen my previous films and he suggested I do something, make a project about this case. And I said, this is not... I don't think a good idea at all. It was still very fresh in all of our minds uh, and hearts. And then he said, you know, read the verdict. It had just come out, the first verdict, um, which is uh, anyone can read it. And I read it. And then I said, I'm intrigued. And he said, let me introduce you to the officers involved. And so I met the officers. And um, over the next four years, I was meeting them over and over again and getting more information from them, getting to know them as people. And I would ask some questions. How did you know? How did this happen? How did you nab this guy? Where was this? What did you talk about in the car on the way back? You know those kinds of things. And I got to know them as people and realize how hard their 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 jobs are. And in this case, they moved the earth to make it happen. Um, and so, so the, the the bedrock of the whole thing was this research of the public domain information, coupled with their viewpoints, their experiences, their thoughts, their emotions, especially with the lady officers. And I realized these are the people that are, we task with maintaining law and order here. We don't talk to them. And their point of view, we, you asked us about our point of view on things. As outsiders, these are insiders who deal with this kind of thing all the time. They deal with the, the, the evil that we hear about. So what is their point of view on it? So as I got to, as I got to know that, it really moved me really touched me and then I started to start to see the limitations that they have on a day-to-day -day basis that I don't think that we really know about. I didn't know that it, cops get to see their families once every two weeks if they're lucky, often once a month. I didn't know that, um, you know, uh, in inspectors or sub-inspectors may not have a vehicle to get to the crime scene. I didn't know that. Those kinds of things which are just normal for them. So so it, it, the, the, the relationship that you're, you're asking about, it, it formed the bedrock for for then creating this drama, which which was the essence of what I wanted to say. So I'll just have one more question. It's, uh, so your character kind of threads this line between that love-hate relationship with the city because she has a daughter who wants nothing more than to run away. But you're defending the city in a way to her. So I'm just interested, as an actor in the film industry, what is the one thing that you kind of have to defend about the industry and the one thing that makes you sometimes want to say, I'm done. Uh, well, if I got on to saying I'm done, I wouldn't be here. Uh, secondly, what I don't find the need to defend anything or anyone because I have no right over how people perceive things. I mean, I could, this has facts. I don't have, what am I going to say? What am I going to contribute to someone and why should I? It's everyone's own perception on how they want to. Uh, I mean, they can 
view the pros and cons and decide for themselves so i'm i'm not uh, an ambassador for the industry or otherwise i I, i do i believe your work is it's it speaks for itself because I, one of the things i think that's so amazing about the industry that we're working in is um and even on a project like this is the purity of communication it's something that you feel something from your heart and you gather the resources and the people who support that and enhance it and get it out there and it's a, it's a it like exactly what you're doing it's just a different way of communicating it is a communication medium and when when it when that that medium is pure and then un- uninterrupted in a way there's nothing like it yeah. and i i would say from from her stamp just my observation of her work her work stands as, as as an ambassador for this. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ever said about that. You're also good. Ever. Oh, hello. It's on it's on. Somebody recorded it. Somebody has recorded it. No, no, no. On my phone like I want to